What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. Sort of round off where we left off, the Mughals have actually been quite energised and have gone on the offensive. So we are going to have to do some uh, shaking and changing of this reinforcement queue to make sure our most useful units come into the battlefield first and then we start to run into quite big problems because most of this reinforcing army isn't actually usable. Artillery is useful ish but not really not as much not as much as not as useful as we as we would like um, but I'm still feeling pretty good we've got lots of quick line potential here and lots of good infantry to hold the walls so I I might put some guards up front. There we go let's get ready to fight. I think the important thing to bear in mind is they won't attack us both stacks at the same time. This one will fight, and as they're pushed back, these ones will enter the field. So it's not too... it's not too bad. Let's go and take them out. They're going to very easily make a breach in the wall, so I, I don't even know if I'm going to uh, occupy the walls nearest the enemy. I might just... I might be inclined to just let them have it. Um, and... Uh, let them have it, and then just quick line the bejesus and shoot the hell out of them as they come in. Although I still might have to have some on there to entice them to aim at the wall. So they're coming in over there. Howitzers just hunker down because they can fire in every direction. I think they're okay. Shall just keep them like that. Let's deploy some of these howitzers in, in a bit more in a bit more targeted fashion We've got some cavalry that we're going to keep probably tucked out of the way uh, not on the wall there so this unit of infantry that's pretty weak you are going to go here and deploy cavalry defences. Let's not put our elite units on the, at the front. Just got to bear in mind that they are going to push us. I am going to want to keep some units ready to defend on the floor. And right now that's not a lot of infantry to do that duty so I'm probably going to take well ultimately one of only one of these there's only risk that they're going to run in one direction when it comes to attacking the wall so as soon as they've made it a bit more clear where they want to where they want to push actually let's do you put you there and then you like that make them overlap so there's not as much of a straight line into the middle Pretty sure that's every. Oh no, it's not everyone. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Actually, no, you guys might deploy trenches. We can just fire and fire and fire. Okay, good stuff. So these men, and the field howitzers might start off in round shot. Okay, this is where they want to make the breach. I need to quickly shut my blind a bit more because I've got the screen that's quite dark for me. Bear in mind they're also going to destroy the command HQ. Hey, I redeployed one of these units. Let's get you up here. Okay, now let's switch my howitzers to quick lines. I don't have any interest in stopping them from making their breach. My little mortars have started firing now as well. My reinforcement troops are marching into the field. Look at that mighty cloud of quick line. Yep, they are going to make their presence felt, make no mistake. Probably want these men up anchoring themselves on the flank of this flank of the building. Some misses. No, 
catch some misses from when they attack the section of the wall. The job of these men is to hold until the uh, the intention to make an attack against. Why are you? Okay, our quick climbing units might end up. Bowmen actually are going to be not a problem. My infantry at the rear is going to sweep them off pretty well. Come on, let's bring you over here. French India Company. Get away. A lot of close range danger, danger close shots there. Actually, I might put the unit of 25 men up on the wall there. in order to uh, provide the bait to get them to keep firing because sometimes they decide they don't want to actually do that. Because it looks like they've already decided to pick pick a new target because they don't... Cause they, they're shooting at the men on the walls rather than trying to make a breach. Which means these 25 men You get up here. Okay, good. Let's push these men up to here. Let's fire onto this block of men that are going to try and scale the walls. These men may end up having to valiantly make a stand. A lot of quicklime comes in. Yeah, those men have to make the sacrifice. So now you focus on dropping two of these units. Focus on dropping quick climb into that breach and don't stop. To be honest, let's pivot all of these guys to fight the bowmen. That's where you men just keep fighting. A levy as they try and close ground. Okay, quick climb coming in. Let's see if they're too close. They're a bit too close, but they're still going to get. They've still got some good fire by rank coming in. So these bowmen are likely to keep being pushed away. Okay, where's my cavalry? Company cavalry. Get you out of here and start to go and knock out some of these guns. Still pouring men in. Cavalry's on the move. All well, the infantry's on the move. You men attack the musketeers. As the sea quarries get closer, we're going to engage them more and more. Get out on the flank. Switch this unit that's not firing quick climb into the breach to go drop round shot on the lancers. Yeah, I suppose if you're not going to do anything up here, you're going to run over here and also fight 
these men try and scale the wall. It's not a problem in the minute because it's mostly Levy and Bowman coming in. Come the general bodyguard. Jammer's bodyguard creeping around the wall. That's a bit of a dodgy mistake. These guys would love to uh, make your acquaintance, Mon General. The unit of Sikh troops. So they're going to be a bit dodgier to deal with. So the enemy are coming in from, okay, the right flank. So let's keep, position these men. Okay, look at that, for weirdness. All right. You men are gonna take your time being weird, engaging the general. I'm just gonna pull my, yep, the lances are gonna get a charge off. But I want to try and tickle their cavalry first. Ah, oh, nuts. These men run because I don't want them to get intercepted too easily. Let's pick the there we go. round shot firing unit. try and get you men to uh, take position on the wall or on the f firing points to go hit the general's bodyguard. The levy are wavering which is nice to see. Okay get these guys over here put one unit here, and set the unit, just hunker down with no fire at will. Finally starting to make inroads. Good, this is where I want them to be. On the firing points, on the wall. We've got some some artillery over there doing some damage. Let's switch my howitzers to round shot and get them to bombard those troops. There we go. Eventually the gen- the uh... Was that another unit? Oh it is. Because my cavalry routed. Looks like these lancers want to try and take him out. So let's drop him in square right now. There we go. Some fresh blood might help. Okay, these 12, you guys can actually come back and man a firing point. Here come the camels. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I've got camel steaks in my tongue. General's been seen off. Yeah, there they go. They try to charge in. Islamic swordsmen, they're no slouches in combat. There you go, but they've been pushed off pushed off the walls. Okay, my artillery, two of my howitzers are gonna to switch to round shot, engaging the new enemies. Or engaging the uh 
engaging the artillery. These men, if they can stay in square, then they'll hold them off and they'll win. Let's see if we can get these men away successfully to try and man a cannon. Good, that artillery fire is going to be a great help. So we've knocked out one of the enemy guns. Here come the... Here come the lancers. So the, if they go for the 58th, they will get some good hits. And we'll just drop them into square. So that's not a concern. The lead elements go straight into our cavalry defences. How beautiful. This is why I like defending small fortresses. Because you can put so much fire to bear so, in such a concentrated manner. Killed another enemy general. Beautiful. Let's try and make, make some room. Let's try and get my guys to switch to... Well, so they, so they man firing positions to then engage the war elephants. The lancers are coming in again. The elephants are under fire. Oh no, I've changed their mind again. This infantry dropped out of square. So get back in. But keep an eye on this unit because they are getting picked away. Let's this fire will off, then on again. Lances are coming in one more time. There you go. Now we're being under now we're under attack by some more bowmen. But they yeah, they've been repulsed. We've seen off the native lancers. So we have a Sikh musketeer unit that's trying to chase them down. So let's get these men over to the fort to draw the Sikh musketeers to where I want them to attack. Which is my infantry. Which is my fort. Doing some good damage to these artillery pieces. Direct hit. by hit. Yeah, they are sending troops to try and intercept my guys. They bring out their own mortars as well. Which, you know, quick line how it's uh, keep focusing on the bad guys. Two normal howitzers can engage. You guys, quick climb, halt, fire at will. There's a whole bunch of new dudes coming in. Pull these guys off of this section of the wall because they're going to be killed trying to defend it. Quick climb inbound. Mm, a bit short. And more shells are coming in. All pretty poor shots, to be honest. No, that's pretty good. Oh, a bit short there as well. Let's 
some good kills there. Let's see where these guys focus. Do they dare storm the breach? Looks like they want to go try and fight over in this corner again. Which may work. They're pouring lots of troops into the fight. Uh, but if they take too long, then what's going to happen is they're going to get caught with their trousers down. So let's run new men like so, so they'll, they'll get into the fort and man the guns to help defend against the men trying to kill them. It's a bad miss from that water. Ooh, lots of quick climb hits there. They're still aiming at those units. That unit of bowmen. Gun crew over here no longer have guns. So my own heart says that should be more accurate. Can help try and free up some of these targets. Good nearby hit. Let's hope these men can stand the cauldron being pushed that they're walking into. I was going to say, another good cannon shot will, will knock them out of it. Because their morale was. Are they all shattered? Shattered, shattered, shattered. Yeah, they've been repulsed. Indian mercenaries, first proper infantry. Although they are not very happy bunnies. At least they're aiming for a smart target. These chaps rather than the guys behind it. cover. The 58th are ready to respond in kind. Likely will not take up, they will not uh, put up with too much of this damage. Actually, they got better. They are concerned for being under small arms fire. So these Sikh musketeers are going to stand here and cut off my reinforcements, it would seem. would be a good plan, were it not for one small problem. My men are more than happy. Ooh, 62% damaged. Get you guys on that corner gun. Get these 86 men back off of that section of the wall. Good. So now they're destroyed. So they're not dropping quick climb on us, which is incredibly makes me incredibly thankful. So let's halt and fire it well again. So they pick new targets. Okay, these men book it because they're going to destroy that wall. You actually get back to dropping it on the breach, actually. No, actually, you can stay where you are. You can bring in this regiment of foot to hold ground here. These men have got plenty of ammo left. They found a way in.
cavalry gunners may march in. My mortars are attempting to fire at their mortars, which I will accept. Look at all the dead bodies here. Oh, this 17 strong men of line infantry is having a go. Oh, they're still firing the, can the cannon. Good work. Very well. They do not wish to push through. Well, they're, they're broken after killing, after losing two camels. Here come the seat musketeers. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. Chiefly because it looks like. They're going to be very silly bunnies, and actually... Looks like they're going to be lag out a little bit. Got a bunch of the Mortar's crewmen. You men form square. That'll see off the camel gunners. They might get to our artillery crews, but I'm not that bothered even if they do. These men are more than enough to see off these camel gunners when the camel gunners have been knocked out. I might have to throw these men in. Bring up my guards. Fire it all off. It would be good if you guys could actually line up here properly and fire into the breach. Okay, I was about to say, why are the gates open? Like, oh, it's because they're running, they're running away, I see. Put the guards here for now. You know, a unit of 184 strong Frenchmen can stay. Uh, artillerymen, go away. Leave the camels. Okay, maybe the guards might have to be thrown in. No. This way. There we go. That should start to even things up a bit. So throw you guys in. Kill the... Kill the camels. Everyone else quick climb the bejesus out of the rest of these men. You guys also charge down. It's a steady stream of men is joining the combat. Seek musketeers, camel gunners, levy. Some seek warriors that might be able to get a charge off when they get within this within the confines of the city walls. Yeah, 
Ah, these men have killed him. Oh, no. Those men have different targets. They're bringing in some more levy. We've pushed them back to the breach. Probably just going to speed up time now. Because it's just a bunch of quick climbing mortar shots against those sea warriors. They don't even have to be good shots. These sea warriors do cause a problem. Because they're not terrible in melee combat, so I need to do some a lot of damage to them as they are. We're slowly losing men to the camels here as well, which isn't great. Okay, let's get all of you to form little squares. Fire it will off. Now try, fight us, you fools! Come on, you men. Get into position to fight those sea warriors. Okay, this man is not enough men to form square, so let's just pull them back. Two hundred and two hundred or so levy are now charging in. These seek warriors are also probably gonna try and get in here as well. might do something like this. Actually, actually let's get, get you out through here. So these will fight off the camels pretty well. I do that, see if they screw us over and go through. Yeah. They could try and run through the breach. Well, I just hunker down. There's no one else in sight, it's all artillery. You guys focus on that unit of guns. Let's speed up time. Just hope no one gets stuck on the walls over here. So what I want them to do is to get here and pour fire into the backs of this position. Because now they're going to be... I mean, they're still in a series of impenetrable squares. But as soon as the Sikh warriors get in there, that's not going to work quite as well. But what I'm hoping... is so fire will turn these guys' fire will off, for now, till this regiment of foot gets in position. Actually, let's just straight up do something more like this with fire will on. So these men can gloriously pour fire into the men at the rear of this breach. Because they're aiming at uh, infantry, fire, their firing drills kick in. Good stuff. We've got them trapped in a set of anvils which are our square formations. Except now let's probably... 
No, it's probably not to do anything. Just, uh, well, charge them in to keep penning. Keep penning these troops against my men, against the wall. There we go. They've all been shattered. Okay, let's end the battle there, because that was A, a heroic victory, and B, an entire episode defending that territory. They lost 8,000 men, though. That's two full armies broken. So let's see what else the scallywags attempt to do. Still trying to push around towards Bengal. They're welcome to do that if they like. If they watch out, and if, if they don't keep an eye on what they're doing too well, we can push up and start to attack their remaining territories. The fools. The fools. Awesome. But I'm about to record another episode anyway, so what I'm going to do is end the episode there. <laughs> so I can kick off with a whole brand new set of stuff to do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for episode 80, I believe. An hour special. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.